When I was editing the footage for the Brazing for Effect video, I was doing a scene just like this. And then starting to braise. And in the editing process, I happened to notice this flame. And I'll put this on hold right here. And you can notice that V shape in the flame. That's indicative of having something in the tip. And I'll need to clean that out. Here you can see this in slow motion using the tip cleaner. I'll clean this. And this is just a simple process. It only takes a couple seconds. But sometimes I got to admit I get lazy and I'll just go ahead and braise without cleaning the tip. But it's always better to clean that tip out. Because now once I relight it, I've got a good clean flame. A much better flame to braise or weld. Now, a worst case scenario is when something gets fused in the tip. And that's when I turn to these tip drills. They're just small drills come in a kit. Choose the drill size that you need and just screw it in there. Now this was pretty simple because there really wasn't anything in there. I was just using it as a demonstration. But when you might really find that you can use this is especially on the cutting tip on your torch head. And that is more likely to get a spark. You know, just a little tiny piece of metal fused right up in the tip. When using the drills to drill out one of the tips, I'd suggest using a minimum amount of pressure. I've had occasion where I got the drill in there, used too much pressure, broke the drill, broke it off right in the tip. So I ended up with not only a broken drill bit, but also I ruined the tip. So a gentle pressure. Now you probably already knew about the tip cleaner and the tip drill bits. But I thought I'd pass it along. And again, it just takes a second to use that tip cleaner. And if you're going to use the drills, just do it gently.